Okay, so this is the image that you saw. Um, I ran it through Lightroom. I did a noise reduction on it, um, brightened it up a little bit. It's still pretty dark, as you can see. She's relatively dark. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my artistic edit in here. I'm going to start with an action. I'm using the Innocence collection from G Greater Than Gatsby. Um, and I'm also going to use one action from the their newborn set, actually. I know she's not a newborn, but whatever. So I just ran the elementary color base. Now I'm going to go into the newborn set, and um, I'm going to use their soft red reduction because, as you can see, I like this, this base, but it makes her rather red. So I'm going to run a red reduction. I'm going to move it to the top because it hides. And she's still a little red for my taste, so I'm going to bump that up about 74%. Um, and I'm going to go back in. Or no, you know what? I'm going to boost the midtones a little bit just to brighten it up a touch more. Okay. And she still has these shadows under her eyes or around her eyes. So I... In the Innocence collection, they have a fill flash, which I really like. So I'm going to run that. And I'm going to lower the opacity and the flow to about the halfway mark, a little below. And I'm just going to click on her eyes once or twice. Just brighten it up a little bit. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten. And I'm going to take the background and duplicate the layer by clicking and dragging. And now is the fun stuff. So I'm going to, my brush is selected. Um, I'm going to choose a color that's already in the picture. So like this kind of grayish purplish color, I'm going to select that. And all I'm going to do is with a medium opacity brush, I'm just going to go in and paint. And I'm just going to keep selecting colors that I find like I like this blue, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to paint around there with it. Um, I'm going to take this orange. I'm going to darken it up a little bit. Um, do a little swipe through. Well, that's a little that's a little intense. So I'm going to lower the opacity on that one. And just kind of swipe through. Do a little bit down here. A little bit off to the side here, kind of warm this up, click on that. So you can see I'm just kind of going around. Um, I'll take this concrete color and just kind of brush over it. Um, and maybe I'll take a little bit of this yellowish green. Oh, that's turning out gray. But it looks kind of like a yellowish green. And I'll just kind of pop that through in places. So, as you can see, it looks super ridiculously fake. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the opacity on it. And there's no exact science to, the, science to this. I just kind of adjust. That actually looks pretty good to me. Because um, if you didn't know what you were looking for, you wouldn't know it was painted. Oh, and one other thing I want to go over with you is I... In the other image, I cleaned up these stray hairs. But I'm not doing it for this video because... It's fine. Um, but if you want to learn how to do that, I have a video for that, too. I can send that to you. So I'm going to flatten these layers. I'm going to duplicate my background again, and I'm going to go to Burn. And I'm going to make the brush real big. And I'm just going to darken everything up. Now, obviously, that's really dark. So I'm, I'm going to lower the opacity quite a bit on this. Um, I just kind of want, that's still too dark. I just kind of want her to stand out a little bit more than the background. Um, so now I'm going to go into my hue saturation level and just sort of pump everything up a little bit. So I'm going to go into my blues and I'm going to click this little eyedropper select the blue 
just kind of amp up the saturation. I'm going to go into my magentas, do the same thing, just pick like a purpley area. And then I'm going to go into my yellows and I'm going to click this light. I'm going to amp that up. And as you can see, it made her orange. So I'm going to go into my mask, make it black with my brush. And I'm not going to take the opacity the whole way up, but I'm going to take it significantly up. Because I like how it warms her up a little bit. Um, so I don't want to completely get rid of it, but I do want to get rid of it. <laughs> so, all right. So there's that. Um, you can see... It just made everything a little bit more vivid. So now I'm going to flatten again. I'm going to do one more background copy and I'm going to burn again. And for this, I'm just going to go around the edges and just make sort of like a parenthesis around her um, just for a slight vignette. And that's rather dark. So I'm going to bring that down. And like I said, there's really no science to it. I just kind of do it until I like it. And um, yeah, so then I just flatten again. Well, actually, oh yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna flatten, and then that is the finished image. As you can see, I really just kind of play around with my colors. I take the colors that have already been in the picture, and I just sort of like enhance them and play around. So just have fun, just play around, and just create something. All right, see ya.